gonna be as high in the 60s. Getting a little winded. Three degrees. And then it's a high of 70 and no sun. And we have a bike tour. <laughs> bike tour. So, off to get a little fuel for breakfast. So, kind of wishing I packed my parka oh, for this trip. Your parka. Yeah. And back home, it's like uh, yesterday it was like 90. 94. <laughs> In St. Louis, even. Yeah. Oh, look at the steam in the hot tub. Sonata day for our only port and some people are dressed like it's summer and just ignoring the temperature not yeah, me yeah so i do understand it's going to be high in the 60s but i do at least have the long sleeves two layers i am going shorts though but i don't know my legs usually have the thing that gets cold so hopefully that's good and I bet we have cruiser bikes. I don't. We're, I don't uh, see that we're gonna do any high speed riding. So get a little shot of that ship. There she is. Carnival miracle. All right, let's go. Hello. Good morning. Carnival miracle. That should be good. Right, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> we should have it. <laughs> thumbnail, thumbnail.
Yes, we are in the right spot. Shore excursions group. Yes. FYI, just in case you forgot, Fernando. Okay, Fernando. Oh, that's step, I see. Yeah. Oop, I'm okay. I'm good. Doing good. All right. Uh, gas. It's a 21 pesos 19 cents for a liter of unleaded, 23 pesos and 59 cents for a liter of premium. So basically, it's about four dollars for a gallon of unleaded and around five for a gallon of premium. Push it a little bit to get yeah. it started. A little different than my road bike. <laughs> <laughs> She's got it. Andrea, I think you got it. it. It's been a little while, but just like, yeah. Ooh, smell the taco. And yeah, the name of the city is Ensenada. Uh, then we have this uh, Golden Hats, which in the past the Golden Hats were in the middle and it was, although the name is the same for the plaza, people would call it uh, Three Hats Plaza. Ah, <laughs> Three Hats Plaza. A little bit more colloquial, yes. Yes, they have a McDonald's. And horses. More oh, horses. These are cool. Okay. One, two, three. Get some carriage rides. Tomorrow is Mother's Day in Mexico. Smell very flowery. Very nice, yes. Oh, a little puppy. Oh, big boy. Pizza. Hey, oh, buddy. no. Woo. All right, we're on the biggest uphill. That is going to be getting a little winded. Woo. All right, we made it. I had to stand a little bit. Holy moly. <sighs> Whoa. Ah. Nailed it. <laughs> I know. Woo. And this is the payout. <laughs> I'd like to stop over here by the bridge. <laughs> but yes, that's a bit of a workout. It was, I, had to, I stood Whoa. a bit and pedaled. This is why you wear a helmet biking, everybody. You run into poles. Okay. I'm gonna like. You can walk it. I'm gonna walk it. Okay, we're good. Whoa. We're good. Got okay. It. Got it. <laughs> Beautiful. This cause this area used to be Mosquito Beach. Oh. Now it's just called the mosquito. Oh. <laughs> the mosquito. And the mosquito beach because the yes, during the summertime we get a lot of mosquitoes around over here. Ooh. I'm not sure if you like Russell Crowe movies. 
Yes. <laughs> well, after Gladiator, they did a movie called Master and Commander. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah. And when they're on the uh, on their way to an island to fix their ship, the island they're going to is that one. All okay. right. Lobster traps. Well, one of the things that they need to do is... Oops, so market. Mercado Negro, so the black market oh, is what we're looking at. And look at these fish here. Whoa, all right. Wow. Yeah, and yeah. Over here, we got even this, which is the king clam. So crazy, right? Yeah. Oh, the names change quite a bit from the uh, US names. So these prices like 140 Five a, pesos. Close to five dollars. For the entire for a fish. Per fish. Yes. Yeah, not bad. Uh, then you got like little angle. It's 130 pesos, so about close to seven dollars. Are you ready for fish now? It's fish, oh yeah. <laughs> we may have to get some fish now. <laughs> no. There's the ship, that's a good shot of the ship there. All right, so we're gonna hit all the signs now. Yellow? Okay. Okay. And we're off. All right, 18, 17. We got uh, it. Plenty of time. We, we could have did it with 10 seconds. We got it. Woo! <laughs> Tequila Museum. It's a sign. It's a sign. So we got a great place right here. It's yeah. Look at all the radishes. These are flat palate cleansers for in between the bites of tacos. Yeah, that looks amazing. Andrea chose quesadilla, cheese quesadilla with guacamole. Yep. Good. It looks really good, it smells good. And then you can make beans up on the side. And I have the guacamole here, and very nice place. Oh, all right, it's loaded. So here's something you could try if you like, which is uh, pickles with lime and salt. Mm. Mm. A little crunchy. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Something that we love in Mexico. I can see why. And the taco master. That's cool. <laughs> yes. I need one of these on my bike at home. You do. So you just pull it back and... Yeah, it's all you. Hit it. There you go. <laughs> Look at the grounds though. It almost looks like a, uh, like a botanical garden. Uh, it, yeah, it's a garden that they put up right here. We actually used to have the hotel rooms of the place used to be on that side.
There, where you see salon, that will be the high rollers room. Huh, opening night. Yeah, a little bit of promotion that we used to do. And wow, yeah, that's one nice. One of the neat things about this whole tile deal over here is that, well, the tile has been here uh, since they opened up in 1930, so it's been almost 100 years since they put it. Wow. But the thing is that the tile is actually from the time of the second emperor of Mexico, Maximilian Bernstein, which is background in the 1860s. Oh. So this is old tile. It's old a little tile. Aged tile. Is yeah. this old wine here too? You can see nope, that they did that a really good job, but well, maybe. we screw this up. Oh, I see it. Now, the thing here is that supposedly, whoops, uh, if you have a compass, oh, I see. and I've seen it actually at work, if you got mm. an actual compass, not the, the phone compass, but an actual compass, whoops. it goes crazy right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> it, it cannot find north when you put it right there. Huh. That's just something with basic knowledge. And the tile is on this other one section. Hmm. So they were very careful a lot of other things. So these two are not an accident. They were done that way purposefully. On purpose. They got distinguished visitors on the tiles right here. Distinguished so visitors. People didn't want to come down. And in 1936, wow. they made gambling illegal in Mexico. Ah, hmm. okay. 42. Well, margarita. That, much. Oh, 450 for a margarita. Sorry, 640. 650. Oh, 650. Oh, that's fine. Yes. Marjorie, the partial owner, made the margarita famous yes. right here. So she, didn't, she may not have invented it. It wasn't the first margarita, but she made it famous. But she made it famous right here. With all her Hollywood friends. So we're not quite where they invented the margarita, but where it was made famous is a good way to put it. Yeah. And it's named after Marjorie. Thanks, <laughs> yeah, Marjorie. Man. Thanks, Marjorie. Ooh. Cheers. That, that's a good one. Very lovely. That's really good. And I saw in the mirror that I look like a construction, construction worker. worker yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Now I. I now I know what I would look like if I picked that. Okay, now we're trying to ride a bike after that big margarita. Yeah, and talking and about getting, so far so good. It's talking about getting wheels so caught far, so in good. crate great. So we'll see how that goes. Oh boy! Oh, I see. Oh, that girl! Oh, whoa! Well, which <laughs> way do you go? Oh boy! Oh Lord! Okay. Oh. All right, maybe you just All gotta right, go. All right, I got it. Woo! Oh my God. Yes. All right. We got it. I kind of went at an angle. Look okay. at this bridge. It's very cool. Oh, there's our ship. Andrea is back there somewhere. There she is. All right, what did you get, Yeah. Whew. Whew. <laughs> yeah. All right, now we're heading to our last stop that has seafood, so hoping for uh, shrimp ceviche. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right, I got it. That's Sabina, the owner, yes. Selena. Yeah. And that's what the restaurant's named after her. Yeah. Sabina. Cool. All right. So that's like a shrimp ceviche. Looks like a real av or avocado on there, straight avocado. That looks good. I like the little diced onion and tomato, cilantro. And you have the cod? Yeah, no. Uh, um, or the yes. fish, fish, fish ceviche. <laughs> fish. And what do you have? That's the cod. Oh, that's the cod. Okay, that looks, oh, they all look great. Oh, I see. It's all like a tostada. Oh, yeah, let Is me know. Right? <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. I'll 
I'll uh, translate. <laughs> no. Um, I normally don't have ceviche directly on it, it's a so it's a little, but it's real, real good. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, very happy. The grape they are from San Vicente. San Vicente is a hundred kilometers farther south. You just need to give me more bread and cheese. And I'll give you more bread and cheese. Yeah. And then uh, we can have the wines I have. See <laughs> <No. laughs> with the with the with the experience, with the time, with the quality, knowledge, and your your taste is shape is start changing. Yeah, he's had more time with wine than yeah. me. So yeah, no, it, it is true. Okay, it's a mix. Tempranillo is a famous grape. They call it Tempranillo because the grape matures earlier than the other grapes. Mm -hmm. It's at the end of September, at the beginning of October, but at the end of September, the Tempranillo is ready. Oh. Huh. We just did a wine tasting, so we have a few clips in there. That was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was uh, a nice little fella in there that was explaining why you pair wine with food so you can get the real tastes yeah, so of it and stuff. So that was neat. We had a good time in Ensenada, tried some good food and got a little exercise in. And the weather worked out. And you may see it or not see it, depending on how the camera was rolling, I may have ran into a pole. <laughs> so, ah yes, the pole incident. Yes. Those bikes are tricky, let's just say. excursion. I wore it on a bike the whole time. Yeah. Foldy for the win. So we're doing joining Betsy and Mike with this challenge to try everything at the Atrium Bar menu. We're gonna try. And Mike and Betsy are starting over here, and we're gonna start over here, and we'll see how far we get. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how far we get before we either say, "All right, I'm done. Get me to the main dining room," or we do it. And then we come back. Yep. So yep. we have the Cosmo oh, yeah, and yeah. The, the Tiramisu. Yeah, Carnival Cosmo, Tiramisu. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cheers. Damn. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> that's like. <laughs> Son of a. Yeah, that's pretty good. So it's like. Um, so we're probably switching. Tiramisu. So we're probably switching. Yeah. All right, well, she's getting that one. I need like sugar on the rim or something for that. Like. Oh, oh, well, that's not bad. Do you like it? Yeah. It says Tiramisu, Carnival Cosmo. I've had this before. Awesome. I never had it on the rocks, though. That, I, that's, I didn't know how that worked. It's good. So. It's good on the rocks. All right, two for two. Did oh, yeah. Like this is the one. <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, mine. I'm going to rate them. All right. I think we're just trying them. I would say this is good, and this one's really good. Yeah. Oh, Betsy and Mike have their first two. Yep, it's Bahama Mama and a frozen daiquiri mango. Mango daiquiri. Mango. 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 
you heard it here, I heard him say delicious. <laughs> <laughs> he said delicious. Right, the only Pepsi issue I have with delicious. the drinks at this bar is like the sugar level gets to be too much where you're not wanting a sugary drink like at all. So. Oh, is that both at once? Oh, oh look at that. Very Ooh. nice. All right, extra bonus points. <laughs> Those look pretty nice. So that is the... That's a blue moon. Oh uh, yeah, blue moon and Pomtini, which is, kind of sounds like uh, 40s and new 20s. It's got pomegranate and vodka. There right, you go. Bam. That's not bad. Oh. Alright, so I think it's 0 for 2 for Andrea for these. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> I guess if I had to pick, I would do the Pomatini, but it's not my favorite, but I don't, I really don't like the blue one. Don't like the blue one. All right, well, I like the Pomatini as well. I'm not sure about the blue one. It tastes like fake sugary or something. Yeah. Yeah. So they're already on number three. Betsy is saying that's awesome. That's great. I can't wait for you to get there. All this right, is round so three, right? Ginger beer. Okay. Oh, rum and ginger beer. They're about to be on four. They're on three. All right, so oh, we have our next two. <laughs> and uh, it's the uh, spicy chipotle pineapple martini. Apple teeny. So I think that's just like the alchemy bar. Apple teeny. You forgot that's to cheer. Oh. Bam. Not quite the Chipotle Martini in the Alchemy Bar. It doesn't have it doesn't have the Chipotle kick to it, but it's good. They just start to get a little sweet here. Oh yeah. All right, this is Apple Teeny. Well, it smells like uh, oh, the spicy well, I, Chipotle. I mean, like that one. That's better. what I said. You would like <laughs> apple. <laughs> This is apple teeny and it's kind of sour, which I kind of like after all the sugar. Sour like a green apple? Ah, I don't yeah. know if you like it, Andy. I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty good. Hey, Ooh. I don't like it. Well, Coming in hot. <laughs> oh, we got to water this time. Well, I already had some. We got waters yeah. to make sure we can like stay hydrated. Well, we almost did this whole page here. We have two more, and they're chocolatey, so this should be Andrew's thing. Chocolate oh, I love Chocolatini, Ultimate XO. And a major shout out to the OGs. Yes. They so bought us this picture, it is so cool. Yeah, so the OGs are Richard and Donna. Fantastic, they're the two in the middle, obviously. <laughs> right there. Can you guys wave again? <laughs> so we're doing the martini page, and this is the last two of the martini page. We have the uh, chocolatini, which you find in the main dining room, and then ultimate XO. We've never had this. Grey Goose, vodka, and Kahlua, chili or orchata. Chili or chata. But it anyway. Tastes like cinnamon. Oh. It's like, like a cinnamon dolce. What's the dolce? It's something that I get at Starbucks. I don't know. I think it's that to do with right, cinnamon. Well, cheers. Final one of the martinis. Woo! Alright. Oh. I don't like this at all. This is the chocolatini in the main dining room. Yeah, this is good. So. Give us a thumbs up for the video. We made it through all the martinis. Um, yeah. And we'll put the menu up like right here. Right by the elevator. We'll put the menu up. And we're going to be moral support for Betsy and Betsy Mike. Betsy and Mike. They're we're doing, doing the whole menu. Challenge, so. I mean, hats off to them. I'm not sure. They got it. We can't do it. Moral but, support. <laughs> Oh, well here, you'll like this one. Well, try that. That's like very cinnamon-y. Or cinnamon-y? Cinnamon-y. 
Oh, well. Are there? Alright. 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 Oh, and the OGs are super close. They're right there, Michael. Oh, geez, give them a little wave. You're fine. Let me get my water. Banding. Banding. What? You move. You can't teach that. You really can't. Yes. I'm a certified forklift driver. All right, Andrea, you have. I have the frog legs. Frog legs. You've had that before. It's the rare finds menu. And I love the little piece of bread thingy that comes with it too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and Mike has the frog legs. Is it as good as always? Well, it tastes like chicken. That's yeah, what you always say. Fishy, fishy chicken. chicken. Yeah, it is. But the problem is, I'm very full, so I don't know. I'm not gonna eat it. We have faith. It's I a bit more. It's a bit more chewy than oh, I remember. Normal. It's it is a little chewy. chewy. Mm. Look at all the color of these lights. Jeez. Alright, first time ever, banana split in the carnival dining room. Oh boy. Alright. Oh, chocolate ice cream. With banana split. Just recording the, the vlogger in the wild right here. How is it? How is it? There's nothing like a banana split. It's the best. Okay, well. Yeah. It blows away baked Alaska and everything. Yeah, it's good. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. Banana split. It's not on the menu. Ask for it. It is. It's exotic because it's cut lengthwise. Yep. As opposed to sideways. Yeah, that wouldn't be exotic. 